In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can take any frame from a video project and make it the background image that people see when they load the disk that you create using your Create Disk option in PowerDirector. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers. They were saying, I like the templates I can use in PowerDirector, but I'd like the, the background screen for my menu to be an image that comes right out of my project. How can I change that? We're going to look at that in this tutorial. First of all, you notice that in the timeline on track number one, I've inserted five very different and very distinct videos, and I've added a chapter title to each of them. So let's pick a frame that we want to use as the background for our disk menu. I'm going to move here to this particular clip. I could pick any one of them and slide to a frame that I like. Let's pick this one. Oh, that's in shadow. Let's pick one that's not. A little bit more light. That one's good. And now we'll make that our background frame. I'm going to click the Control key and the P key to create a snapshot of that frame. It wants a name. I'll call it Test. And now you notice in my media room I have a copy of that JPEG, which is that frame in my project. Now we're going to go to the Create Disk option. It will take a few seconds to load. And it loads the last option that I used of my templates on the left side. It happens to be the Aurora. I want to look a little bit at the menu structure. I click on that button above my template selections. You noticed I already added a title for my root menu called Summer Fun. And then I have two pages. I called one June, which has three of the chapters in it, and one July. I go back to content and I see this in another way. I can see the chapters looking this way and I see my four chapters on page one. I click the arrow. I see my other chapter on page two. We'll go back to our menu preferences. Now I'm going to have to modify this template to accomplish this objective. So I click on Aurora again and now I'm going to click on the modify button. That opens up my Menu Designer page. Now what I want to do in this particular case is I want to change the background. I have a couple of options. If I look at the second icon from the right, I can actually delete the current background. Now in this case I'm going to override it so I don't have to do that, but I want you to know that button is there. So I'm going to click on Set Background Image or Video and choose Set Background Image from the drop-down. Now I'll navigate to where I saved my snapshot. And here I have my snapshot. I'll highlight it and click on Open. Now it assumes that the proportions of the image may not match the project. So it gives me three ways in which I can adjust for that. In this case, it doesn't matter which one I pick because I know the image, since it came from the project, has the correct proportions. So it doesn't matter which of these buttons you use. I'll just click on OK. And now I have the image selected as the background image in my menu system. I'll click on OK. It will want me to save this as a custom template. I'll call it a test and click on OK. PowerDirector will save the template for me. and then it reloads the default because it doesn't overwrite the default. If I want to apply it, I click on my A test in the menu system now of my templates and this gives me the root menu and I can click on apply and now I've noticed that I have this in the menu system that I see when I load my disk. So now I've taken that frame and made it the background while using the other features of the template in CyberLink PowerDirector.